Today is a green day. Did you know that Greeks claim to have made the first anchor, but it was really the Romans? Cool. And the word of the day is cheese. Did you know? I like my cheese drippy, bro. I'm in the thick of it, everybody knows. Did you know today's National Breadstick Day? Did you know breadsticks are skibbity? They saved some royal kids' life a couple hundred years ago. Cool. Bye, Lancers! Hi, Lincoln Lancers. I'm Hera Dawson, and today we're going to be talking about the Earth. How much does it cost? It only costs $45, or you can spread it over months with different payments. Where do I go if I have any concerns or questions? You can go to Miss Johnson's room because Miss Johnson is a yearbook teacher. Also, you have to order soon to get it personalized now. You can get it personalized, and it can say your name, and you can have four symbols. So let's say, because I like football, I can put a football next to it. So make sure you get your yearbook answers. Hey guys, I'm Sophie and I'm here with Layla and Olo. And your question is, what is your Halloween costume? A prisoner or the explorer? Um, I'm probably just gonna paint my video. Hi, my name is Karma and I'm here with Mason. Oh, I'm Lodi. And the question is, what are you gonna be for Halloween? Alright, so I'm gonna be Elmo and I'm gonna be a banana. I'm here with Zoe and Roberto. And your question is, what are you being for Halloween? Uh, I'm being Ghostface for Halloween. And an M&M. Okay. I'm here with Raleigh. What are you going to be for Halloween? I'm going to be fur. What are you going to be for Skeleton? Hi Lancers, did you know that next week is going to be our very first spirit week of the year? On Monday will be Pajama Day, Tuesday is Band Day, so wear something with your favorite band on it. Wednesday is Breast Cancer Awareness Day, wear pink. Thursday, wear your Halloween costume. Remember, no masks, no weapons, and no gore. And Friday is Medieval Day. Wear something that a fairy, king, queen, chester, or a knight would wear. It will also be the day of the quarter one rally. Hey Lancers, I'm Elise, and I'm your weekly advice giver. Let's get started. Dear Elise, how can I get over my fear of the dark? That's simple, get night lights. Dear Elise, how can you achieve world peace? Just say sorry. Dear Elise, how can I get over my fear of spiders? Simple, just wash it down the water spout. Dear Elise, can you solve global warming? Yeah, just turn down the thermostat. Dear Elise, can you raise my grades? Yeah, I got you. Hey guys, I'm Eli. And I'm Maya. And we're gonna be bringing you stories from Camp T over the past three years. Let's go and do it. Hey guys, I'm with Will. All right, what's your most embarrassing or funny story from Camp T? My most embarrassing moment from Camp T was when I couldn't commit to jumping to the bar at the uh, Luka Face, but I finally did it after like five minutes. Hey guys, I'm here with Pearl. And what's your most funniest or embarrassing moment when you went to KOT last year? I think it was embarrassing when the silencer didn't let me draw. So um, I had to go back down, get it fixed, and retry. What's up, Lynn James? I'm with Kelly. All right, what's the most funny or embarrassing moment of KOT? I'd say on the right back, we were singing um, one of the problems of cheese on the wall and um we managed to get to negative 60 something by the time the ride's over that's funny nice hey guys i'm with this is one too okay so what's a funny or embarrassing moment about camp team oh something that happened to me or somebody else well this year was pretty calm but I would say that a couple years ago, we had this snowstorm in the night. And in my cabin, I woke up with like a start. Somebody was sick. And I don't know how I knew it. And I got the person just in time. But there was a little bit of vomit on uh, the sleeping bag, I think. So I gave the person another blanket. And... I was like, I have to go back to sleep. I can't have this sleeping bag in the room that smells like vomit. So I just threw it out on the balcony and I'm like, I'll clean it in the morning. Well, because of the snowstorm, oh, no. the sleeping bag got snow on it and froze to the deck. 
the sleeping bag full of vomit froze to the bed. And so the next morning I had to clean that up. It was a little awkward, um, but pretty funny now that I think about it two years later. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm here with Mr. Allen. And we'd like you to share your most funniest or embarrassing story that you've ever had going to Camp T. Okay, so I have gone to Camp Timberline for four years now, uh, throughout my years teaching here at Lincoln. Um, a lot of it's really cool to see kids conquer their fears. I think the most embarrassing was when I myself went off the gut check, one of the activities there, and uh, Mr. A put on my harness and uh, it definitely gave me a wedgie. <laughs> But all the kids watched me, and I conquered my fear of jumping off a platform. What's up, guys? I'm with Max. Okay, so what's a funny or embarrassing moment about Camp T? I got a concussion, and Maya got a sprained wrist, and uh, she was in charge of me while driving home in Miss Johnson's car. Thank you. Hey, hey, Lancers. Hey, Griffin. Yeah? Do you know why the pony asked for a glass of water? Because it was a little horse. Remember, <laughs> we... The Lancer Way. Scabbity!